you hear about Berlin Film Festival 2021, the artistic direction made an historical change within festivals of words. From 2021, the award for best performance would be Gender Neutral. No more best actor, no more best actress, but best act... best performer. The festival directors proclaimed we believe that not separating the awards in the acting field according to gender comprises a signal for a more gender-sensitive awareness in the film industry. The decision, as predictable, arose a huge debate in all Europe. And the main question is this. Is gender neutrality the solution for gender equality? This topic is very interesting and gives me the possibility to talk about an essential part of theatre pedagogy. The neutrality. What is neutrality? Many theatre masters develop neutrality within their pedagogy and nowadays it became a corner store for almost every kind of theatre practice. In particular, Jacques Lecoq dedicated a huge part of his pedagogical research to develop the work on neutrality. And he describes it as a status of pure presence, where the actors or actress experience no inner feelings and moves in perfect balance and economy of movement. In order to develop his work on neutrality, Jacques Lecoq used a special tool, which is the neutral mask, but I'm going to talk about it deeper in another moment. This kind of path is extremely interesting and challenging. I recommend to every single actor to try it at least once. Neutrality practice brings with it a couple of considerations that, in my opinion, play a very important role in the debate. First, neutrality is a utopia. It is impossible for humans to become totally neutral. We can only try to reach a perfect neutral status, but what is most important in this path is not the result, but the effort we make to reach the goal. Even though we could be able to reach a total absence of expressions and perfect balance, we are still slaves of our body shape. We are totally different from one another, men from men, woman from woman, all the more so if you compare men with women. But our body shape communicates a story by itself. 7. Neutrality is not a mystical or philosophical status, but it is extremely concrete, and Lecoq considered it as a synonym of universality. A universality includes both men and women. There are some expressions or gestures that we, as humans, can recognize as part of a universal language. For example, a farewell to a person we love, a hug, and gender does not make them better or worse. Many students, while practicing neutrality, pretend to eliminate the gender. But this is meaningless. The idea that every individual is equal to others is right and totally wrong at the same time. Coming back to Berlin Film Festival's choice, from a political and social point of view, then it's interesting debating about the implications of such a decision. But from an artistic point of view, then it's meaningless debating whether neutrality stands for gender neutrality or not. It already does. Neutrality respects the differences between genders, but it doesn't consider them artistic relevant because neutrality aims at moving the focus on a universal language which pertains to every single human. There could be no better gender equality than this on an artistic level. In conclusion, neutrality does not mean gender elimination, but it means respect for gender. Because, as Jacques Lecoq said, universality does not mean uniformity. <laughs>